All right, hello, every people. Uh, I'm 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 back at the um, Dorothy Crane dispensary, and the reason for that is because I lost my save file and had to replay the game up until the point where I'd dealt with Dorothy and whatnot. I have a different build, and I'd already been here once before, and I'd already seen what it is I'm about to see. As you can hear upstairs, there's something bad. So yeah. Here she is. Good old Dorothea. What's up, babe? As you can see, I have a completely different kind of build, playing very differently. I have a sort of blood stealing blood build. And there you go. I'm about to die though. Because getting hit by that once is sort of a death sentence, so yeah, I'll be back when I get back there. Alright, so we're back. <laughs> we fought our way up here again, and... Very quickly have a quick gander. A quick look around, and this is the thing we want to loot. Look at all the shit you get out of this. Treatment for headache, times two, six glass vials, two cold treatments, two fatigue treatments bunch of other ingredients, shit tons of stuff, basically, that was well worth it. Turning Dorothy into an enemy we would like to kill was profitable. And I discovered a, uh, another thing to spy on. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What? Like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I, I was so afraid to leave the hospital. Not to be seen with you. Look, we survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. <laughs> Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Fair enough. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Wait, 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 wait. Good evening. Eve. We need Eve. to cure your headache. We also found the treatment for migraines and stuff, so... That was apparently was in the um, cemetery in a ditch. I'm certain you have your reasons. But let me assure you, I'm... It is true. You risk yep. Risk me life, gave you a bunch of medicine, the world is a better place. I'm not... Good evening, Miss Howcroft. I need blood, Doctor. But, but you're healthy, anyway. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature, but they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me, but they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right, and you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. 
course I will. Uh, yeah, we're going to the cemetery. Uh, and yeah, we can just bypass you. Faster that way. Kill this guy. We'll be very quick about it. I could just run past them, but I like killing people and looting them, and they have stuff for me, and you really don't hurt me very much, do you? Anyway, yeah, grease and shittings. Ow. Yeah, you keep doing the fire thing, I'm just gonna keep wailing on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Get some life off of you. You're very strong against blood attacks, but it's alright, because I've still got a stammy. Alright. Oot. My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. What, to open the door? We just did. Okay, so there's a person over here. As you can see on the compass. Her name is Xiao Shun. Let me just. I'm a friend. I want to be friends. Ow. Do that. Stop that. Oh, you see, I require. The Omnoms. Twice. And... That dodge attack is actually really bad. Because it always misses. Anyway. Heal very quickly. Okay. Hey woman. How you doing? You're fine. Don't worry about it. Are you alright, miss? I... I don't know. Who were those people? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. You're welcome, and you look fine. Okay. Um. It's locked, all right. Okay. It's locked, all right. That usually means there's something important in those. I can't dash when I'm right next to her. Apparently that would be that would be suspicious. Doing this inside the little crypt was fine, but doing it past her that would be too much. I can't reveal myself to my mother now. I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. This is discreet. I mean, very discreet. Okay. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. There's our mumsy. <laughs> Why kill my Mary? And stick her here in this cold, god-awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, man. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. Ah, <laughs> uh, that really sucks. Let's see, let's count how long we're off stage. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. So about seven seconds, and he just teleports down. That's like what? Two.
two and a half seconds after the Vickers exited the screen. So apparently they don't exist anymore. Makes sense. Mary. What have I done? You bit her. Did you not remember? It was at the beginning of the game. If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. Okay. Accepted. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Uh, yeah. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. Okay. How? How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. No. I'm not a religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. You are so full of shit. I like that though, it's like, No, Jonathan, it's you who wants to to confess. It's like, but I could literally just kneel down here and say, Mary, I'm sorry, and then go back to the hospital. But no, I have to go to some fucking church to, t to tell some vicar who believes in a god that I don't believe in that I'm sorry, and then it will magically do something. That makes... So much sense. And it's you guys tend to give me stuff when I kill you. You are going on a plate. Loot, loot. Lots of loot. We get a lot of druggy stuff off of uh, skulls, which means that, in all honesty, if I'm walking past an area and I think that there are going to be a bunch, then I tend to want to kill them. But we'd already been in the area. No! And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Hmm. He sounded really cheerful. Immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. 
They try my patience. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Well, it's not. I've no need for a kind ear. I've no need for a kind ear, only a moment of peace in God's house. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. But then shut up. This is a private matter. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest. As you seem quite adamant. Isn't he actually a vicar? In your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Hmm. Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She slipped and, and she fell down the stairs. It was an accident. A terrible, terrible accident. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I wish I could forget. Well, let's see. Uh, well, it really was because of me. She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, vicar. Now he's a vicar. What <laughs> would you like her to know? <sighs> now it's, I swear it wasn't me. <laughs> I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son. And your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Yay! Now we are totally at peace and this will not bite us in the ass! Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Yeah, fuck God. Why did I go to even go talk to him? What the fuck? Good evening, Doctor. Yay! How's things? Have you any news of Nurse Crane? It appears the dispensary is now a major source of contagion in Whitechapel. Does that mean I need to go clear it again? Nope, there's nothing here. But then again, I haven't even slept. Okay, so we're making our way... Making our way downtown. Walking down. Doing all those lyrics that I do not... That I do not know what the fuck! So yeah, um... Making our way downtown. I usually go and hunt scals, but this time around I'm just gonna just gonna go home. All right, we're home. Remorse and pain are precious when binding you to the earth. You, I remember you. Well, let's talk to Moose Man. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. 
What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. Wait, what? The land? Tell me what you are. I am the whitened bones and blackened soil. The land made blood course through thy veins. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. And sperm. Okay. Right. That I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. Yeah, I, and I. Uh... So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity, or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Somehow I doubt Edgar knows shit all about this thing. But yeah. Oh, these people are arguing. Whatever, let's go in. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Well, so far I haven't been hiding. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. Did your skull give you some bad news? What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Oh dear, it's Hogwarts all over again. Um, let's see. Uh, so we've got confidence let's be restored. No one will notice a few more bodies. Do you fear for your reputation? Yeah! Are you worried about the situation or your reputation? Now is not the time to think of oneself. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Uh huh. I don't have the heart for this. Well, eh. Whatever. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please, then. Tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Mmm, yeah. We'll all be attacked. Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Technically, Edgar brought him here, but you know. Never mind.